Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Picture so perfect we play Hello wonderful people, welcome back again to Anointed Lady TV The home of news and politics And we drop news every day And we also react to every videos that comes our way if it is your first time in this channel you are highly welcome thank you so much for stopping by and if you are returning subscribers we appreciate you for your massive support and we say may god richly bless you all for supporting this channel and if you haven't subscribed please kindly smash on the subscribe button put on the bell so you get to know anytime we drop a new video i have a video to present to you this very moment and i will be watching that video with you and after watching let's drop our opinion constructively at the comment section like our videos and also share our videos if possible bye for now okay. sir The receipt of this 60 by VP-1 Type 89 ZSD armored personnel carriers is not only gratifying in rediscovering the basic tenets of infantry maneuver in warfare, but also aid the infantry in clearing objectives without stress. The receipt of these dearly required armored personnel carriers over three months ago and the hands-on training that ensued with over a hundred personnel is a clear indication that the end of insurgency is now. I must state that this equipment couldn't have come at a better time than now that we needed it most. I assure the Chief of Army Staff that troops have been trained effectively on this equipment and the purpose for which they were purchased will be achieved. To the trained personnel, I would like to remind you that you should count yourself lucky to be a part of this great history of infantry revival and repositioning to tackle the insurgency ravaging our dear nation. I urge you to employ these armored personnel carriers effectively and use them as the last broom to sweep the feet of these bastards called insurgents out of our dear country. I must also warn that any act of sabotage will not be taken 
lightly. You are therefore to handle this equipment as your personal rifle, which we call in the infantry domain as our wives. I am standing here uh, following with the words of uh, His Honorable General Ali, Major General Ali. I like to boldly but humbly uh, provide three pieces of advice. The first is through the one month training, all the trainees from batch A and B, they have uh, mastered the basics of this vehicle, theoretically and operationally. Uh, but as we Chinese say, the Chinese army, we just printed on the wall that you sweat, you sweat more during peacetime and you bleed less during wartime. So I want to boldly encourage all the trainees and all the soldiers of the gallant Nigerian army to train, take every opportunity to learn from each other and to train more and to know more the, uh, this, about this APC so that you will get, they will have a, more, a better performance in the battlefield. Second, um, as we train the trainees here in the School of Infantry, the APC Wings, we learn that uh, many trainees, they are of different expertise. Some are drivers, some are gunners, some are mechanics. I think that's very clever, but also I told the students, the trainees, that they should know something generally about a vehicle because in the battlefield they may have to cover each other they are crew they are family so uh, i boldly and humbly urge the soldiers to take the opportunity to learn and train each other and learn from each other so that you will get to know this apc better and to uh, enhance the performance better and uh, last but not least You know, like uh, what uh, General Ali said, we kindly ask the soldiers to love this piece of equipment like your wife, like your brother, like your sister, like your friends. So we encourage the trainees and soldiers to do routine check and maintenance according to the training that we have conducted and according to the menus that are that came here with the vehicles. It is an effort which is in line with the federal government's cardinal objective of tackling the totality of the security challenges facing our dear country, Nigeria. These platforms we commissioned here today is in addition to other equipment brought in for the purpose and this underscores the strategic resolve to ensure that a state of normalcy is achieved across the length and breadth of Nigeria. We wish to appreciate in no small way the immense support of the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammadu Buhari, in providing these and other items which will go a long way in boosting the efforts and in tackling the security challenges across the nation. The morale the troops expressed today and the joy shows that something new is happening and something very dangerously dangerous for the enemy is about to happen. <laughs> Let me make it clear that the Nigerian army under my watch shall continue to work assiduously with relevant stakeholders, partners and other agencies in the protection of the sovereignty of the state of Nigeria and in defense of every inch of our dear nation. We shall continue therefore to take cogent and firm steps in curtailing activities of non-state actors. We shall come to their level to ensure they are rooted out and completely neutralized and annihilated. The only way out for these miscreants, insurgents and bandits is to change from their bad ways and embrace peace. It is high time that you understand that's talking about the terrorists that the game is up and you shall be annihilated from the face of the earth, which is in line with and in conformity with the end state of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To our dear partners in progress, Norinco, China, kindly continue the good works in availing us these final means to clear our land of evil.
Where is the scissors? Yeah, I'll hold it. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. Have yeah. Next is Last Copra Hassan Zanusi. Next is Last Copra Abubakar. And lastly,